Hello and welcome to another video on what is Shopify. So in today's video, I'm going to take a closer look at the storefront, which is one of the features of Shopify, storefront and sales channels. So from this blog entry from Shopify, so what is Shopify and how does it work in 2023? So it is describing that Shopify is an e-commerce that comes with all of the tools necessary to start, grow, and manage your business. So <clears throat> Shopify, after all, what it does is to unify all of the commerce into one single operation. So all the commerce operations into one single platform. So with Shopify, Okay, so merchants can build an online, uh, merchants can build and customize an online store and sell in multiple places, whether it is in person, web, mobile, brick and mortar shops, uh, pop-up shops which is temporary retail store and across different channels so it is important here to recognize the subtle difference between places and channels especially when we talk about selling sales okay uh so here he described is this so you can it allow you to sell in multiple place including web mobile, in-person, brick-and-mortar locations, and pop-up shops, and across multiple channels. So something that I'm going to describe what actually it is, or a definition from a interaction-design.org website that it talk about channels, especially sales channel and touch points. So sales so channels here, they talk about from social media to digital marketplace. So you can think of this Shopify as a set of layers that the first of all is the Shopify core products and service. <clears throat> so once you purchase a subscription plan, uh, they allow you and provide tools so you can start your idea into business and start selling. So I give you tools to personalize the look and feel of your application, in this case of your store, right? As well as the um, provide you tools to start selling a complete integration platform uh, which comes with payment processors, uh, with payment processors, as well as a fast, reliable, and secure checkout, and also SEO and marketing tools, so you can know what are you doing and how they behave when they visit your website or your store. But this is the first layer of the Shopify. Right, and if you want to fine tune your stores, you can do that uh, by accessing to the Shopify APIs and development tools. Great. So the second layer is that because your business is unique and as it grows, your needs and demands evolves to. So Shopify with these additional products and servers they give you tools such as make it easy to access to capitals with their shopify capital right or the, or the shopify yeah shopify capital right so they fund entrepreneurs or this small to mid business like this <clears throat> uh with zero equity, of course, because after all, where do you think your your store lives? 
Exactly. On their infrastructure. Unless you know how you can migrate your applications, your platforms across different uh, other online store platforms, which is something you can do if you know how uh, JavaScript, uh, HTML, CSS, as well as the software feel uh, behind that, well, you can do that uh, without, with, without too much issue. But in any case, so this is one of the tools that they provide, right? To start, scale your business. So they provide funding as well as accelerating payment options. Sounds good, sounds good. The third layer is app built by thirds. <coughs> Sorry. App built by trust partners. So much like the Google that have the Play Store and the Apple, the Apple Store. So Shopify has a Play Store. In this case, the Shopify App Store that allow merchants to select a, across thousands of applications to enhance not only the merchant experience, but also the customer buyer as well. And uh, so for example, if you want to make use of the latest SMA app or the hottest new platform, the hottest new social media platform ads tools, okay, or the hottest, the hottest new social, exactly, so the hottest new social media network ads tool, okay, it's important to also uh, make myself familiar with this storytelling, okay, the hottest new social media network ads tool. You can do that. And there's also a marketplace of Shopify experts that you can hire to build custom solutions mm -hmm. for your business. So once I understand the several layers of Shopify, so now the reason of why Shopify. So well, after all, Shopify is, it supports an entire e-commerce community of online and online and offline and everything between. So for the most diverse set of entrepreneurs and merchants for that. So I would like to take a look at this, uh, the Shopify, Shopify e-commerce community. <clears throat> uh, well, But this was a okay. Yeah, comparison. Free trial, yes, yes. Okay, but this is from Forbes. Okay. Okay. So in any case, um, so bottom line, both Etsy and Shopify provide sellers with a way to get their goods in the hands of customers after they may have purchased online. Shopify charge a per transaction fee and a monthly plan. Etsy charge multiple fees per sale and for listing items, but charge no monthly fee for the space service. Uh, so Etsy is more like, uh, okay, so Etsy is more like <coughs> uh, fee, uh, fee per sales, fee per sales and for listing, but not charge. Okay. If you're new to selling and don't have a list of customer already, use Etsy. If you sell handmade goods or artisan service, Mm -hmm. Use Etsy if you sell handmade goods or artisan service. Shopify is a great for retail sellers with an established customer base. Interesting. Interesting. According to Forbes. Okay. I like this. This definition here. 
that I will take here from my notes. Shop why Shopify. Okay, when it comes here. Uh, from the Forbes here. So the describe is that is this okay so to understand a little bit more about that so shopify charge per transaction fees and a monthly plan fee right etsy on the other hand <clears throat> charge multiple fees per sale and for listing items okay so if you're new selling and don't have a list of customer already use Etsy okay if you sell hand good mm, and, or arts and service Shopify is great for retail service with an established customer base right exactly okay cool cool that's all so this definition here okay uh that actually because i was looking at the shopify e-commerce especially the community <clears throat> like this so what's wrong uh, what is this uh, just want to look at the community Shopify uh, community okay like this which is something that I should register myself into this okay <coughs> developer authentication access fulfillment and inventory GraphQL basics hydrogen headless and storefront APIs Meta fields and custom data, customer discount and orders, all of the things that provide the Shopify, as well as the discussion here and the events, groups and learn. So I'm going to dedicate after this video time to register on the uh, community. Okay, let me actually schedule that because I want to register that myself on that community perhaps tomorrow yeah that's right i would like to do that Okay, uh, is Shopify, so register in Shopify, Shopify community. Okay, cool. Let me add the link here. So to make my, to make easy to, from me from the future. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is the e-commerce community. All right. <clears throat> So the other is uh, Shopify is global. It expands over 175 countries. I would like to look at this. So it, it expands of the, uh, for example, countries where Shopify expands, supported countries, and for payment, interest. Supported country for payment. <clears throat> exactly Shopify payments merchants in all regions who use Shopify payments can accept co-branded carters bankiers card and payment methods as co-branded cartridges bankier credit card has a visa master and master logo on it Mm, so this is the place where you can receive payment 
Most of them are on Europe. Yep, Japan. And recently Singapore. But there is no Th Thailand, none of them. Burger. Okay. <coughs> so okay, they so they expand. Uh, they expand over one hundred seventy-five countries. However, okay. Shop supported, supported, supported countries. Yeah, supported countries for Shopify payments. Supported, yeah, however, supported countries for Shopify payments here is less than that. Is less than, is way more less, is way more less than that. Okay. The other is uh, empower creating expression because now you can improve your stores as you want it, as well as con it provides the most integrated commerce platforms out of the box. <clears throat> okay, so with things like payment processors as well as growth tools that allow you to extract unnecessary complexity, especially when you're growing your business, whether it's brand design, logo makers, uh, and also designed for scalability. So this is the reason why, according to their blog, uh, you should use Shopify, okay? Uh, this is a it support an entire e-commerce community. It has it has 10 over 170 countries, however, mm -hmm, however, supported country for Shopify payments is way more less than that. It also provides creative, empowered creative expression because you can customize your store as you want it uh, by adding is any app extensions or app themes to your store and customize uh, a particular buyer experience. So Shopify is the most integrated commerce platforms out of the box because by abstracting unnecessary complexity, whether it's to growth tools like brand logo or logo creator, as well as payment processors, it allows you to scale your business uh, as you need it. So, okay, that sounds very, very good, right? Uh, and also look at this. So Shopify charge per transaction fees and monthly plan fees, okay? So this is their business model. So Shopify charge per transaction fees and a monthly plan fee, okay? Whereas Etsy charge multiple fees per sales and for listing items. So if you are new to selling and don't have a list of customer, Already use Etsy if you sell handmade goods or artisan service. So Shopify is great for a retail seller with an established customer base. <coughs> All right. And then finally, I'm looking at the features that provide Shopify. So from the merchant perspective, as well as the customer, and ultimately, your business. So let's go to dive in on the or into the create commerce to to the merchant perspective. So yeah, so storefronts allow you to personalize your front end uh, to create unique way to sell. In exactly to create unique way to sell. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so to create unique way of sell, to create unique way to the live your to create unique way to the lives of users. Uh, let me actually, I just want to remember this. 
The storefronts allow you to create unique ways to sell that delight customers, build loyalty, and boost sales with custom storefront tools. So this is the whole point of this, okay? So with storefront, and again, from the website, this is storefront <clears throat> here, that's, what, that, well, that's uh, what they allow, right? So create unique ways to sell that the live customers, build loyalty, uh, and boost sales with custom storefronts. So there's something uh, that they mentioned here about touch point, especially when you're creating this custom store tools. So add commerce to touch point with customer interact with, especially when creating here. So this is the link here. So with custom storefront tools, there is something called touch point where according to the interaction-design.org website, okay, they mentioned that touch points are place of interaction with your brand. So there are customers, people, where, in, where they are, they are place where your customers or people interact with your brand. Whereas sales channels are planned point of interaction. So once a particular user uh, or a particular person interact with your brand, okay, so make a touch point, now you can create as a, as a marketer a channel, meaning a planned way of interactions. So several touch points uh, were they described right now in the 2023 is the phone, the web, the print media, other service. Yeah, it is funny that actually still print. Yeah, print, other service, products and service, also people. You know, you have at least in 2023, this uh, seven point of interaction. Cool. <clears throat> cool. So, with that, okay. So now knowing about this touch point, what it is, and storefront after all, it allows merchants to create unique ways to sell that the light users uh, or that the light customers build loyalty and boost sales while creating custom store. Uh, what we, uh, or with custom store from. So, because there are several points of interaction or aka touch points, such as the web, the mobile, other service, print media, people, products, and Yeah, it's, it's mobile, mobile, web, mobile, web, print media, uh, other service, marketing, okay, what they describe here, like print, and marketing, uh, print is, and marketing is, for example, magazines and things like that, marketing, <clears throat> print and marketing, okay, print is more like, for example, when you see an ad on a bus stop. Or a train stop. Okay, so mobile, web, print, uh, yeah, print, other service, marketing, products, and people. Okay, so there's several things that you that allow this custom storefront or 
this storefront is first, create custom websites or add commerce to your mobile apps using the and the Shopify Android uh, yeah using the the Android or yeah using the iOS or Android mobile SDK for Shopify as well as inject uh, shopping moments in your games where you are already audience or where where you engage audience is already ex already exists with Unity SDK or sell on custom channels. So that's the what that's the reason why I look at the in, uh, the interaction dash design.org to understand more about this. And a third storefront API allows you to deliver a customized buyer experience to rely on the Shopify features. Yeah, to rely on Shopify features. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the next, next, okay, next is social channels integrations and sales channel. Okay, this is something that it might take a little bit of time because this is something new to me. Okay, but as I mentioned before or yesterday over a couple of last videos, uh, so social, social channels integrations and sales channels, okay, social channels integrations and sell channels are planned so sell channels, remember, plan uh, points, plan ways of interaction, okay, or plan points of interactions, okay. So sell channels, they are plan points of interaction. So from the website here, uh, redirecting the right the channel. So from their website, they say so promote to promote and sell your products, physical or digital, across different social media networks, in a centralized place. So this is from their website, and well, because I look at the definition of the sell channels uh, from ChatGPT. Okay, let me put it here. Uh, ChatGPT. So ChatGPT definition so so sell channels according to chat gpt you can think of them as different avenue through which business sell products and service to customer in a planned way okay or at least this was my uh, combined definition chat gpt chat gpt and interaction interactive interaction design dot org mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay is this so chat gpt and interaction design dot org definition okay cool cool all right So this is the definition of the cell channel uh, uh, that I mix with the ChatGPT and the interaction that are, okay? So cell channels, after all, you can think of them as, cell, as different avenues in which your business, uh, yeah, different avenues through which your business sells product and service to customer in a planned way. Okay, so you can think of this different avenues like okay so what uh like speed limits right so when they give this traffic sign uh that promote is the in this in, in the context of traffic is that they set this limit so you can coexist with others okay or in this case but for the concept of sell here is to sell to different channels or sell 
uh, through different avenues. So sales channels are uh, so the different avenue through which your business sell products or goods, good, uh, sell, sell good and service, sell products and service in a plan way. Okay. <coughs> That's one of the reasons why uh, content posted on Twitter is not the same as Instagram or TikTok and all that kind of platform, right? Because uh, the content in there or the avenue, the way how that avenue was designed is not the same uh, for others. So, for example, you can think of that uh, rural um, rural streets uh, is not the same as good as interstate avenues, right? So, this might be a good idea, a good example of that. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. <clears throat> okay, so this is sales channels. Okay, again, I'm looking at social channel integrations and sales channels. So the TLDR of sales channels is, well, think of them as a set of avenues uh, or avenues that allow your business to sell product and service in a planned way okay so content you make so content you upload to tiktok is not the same as twitter it doesn't have the same impact as well because the way how it's being perceived or the way how this channel was designed mm -hmm. interesting very 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 interesting okay that makes that makes a lot of sense so things are starting to uh, slowly uh, gain traction and because of that you can expand your reach by selling through social media so turn followers into customers okay so find new shoppers grow your brand audience and build customer loyalty with social selling <coughs> okay as well as online marketplace uh, where sell will people shop mm, interesting uh, okay like this okay Here, okay so this is the feature from social channels and integration right it's like okay so so social channels uh, are you can so social social channels they are the social channels are different avenues through which a business or through which business sell products and service in a planned way. Okay, so so these sell channels. Okay, sell channels. After all, according to mixing these two concepts here so yeah so sell channels are different avenues in which your business uh, sells products and service to customers in a planned way okay so some much like uh, it's not this content you upload to a particularly social platform such as TikTok has not the same impact as the Twitter. That's right. Because the format, the medium is different. The way how you consume that is uh, different. The way how that was designed is different. 
uh, so much like for example uh, when you go to uh, in an in in a city context uh, when, when we talk about traffic so it's not the same the traffic in the city context or with it's not the same with a traffic on a city context with some rural area you know uh, but this is just a, an, an example of how different mediums or different platforms different channels avenues uh, have not the same impact the the way how this is being used all right so after all cell channels okay there are different avenues through which business can sell product and service to customers in a planned way. So you can expand your reach by selling through to social media. So turn your followers into customers. So find new shoppers, grow your uh, your brand your brand audience, and build customer loyalty with social selling, right? As well as online marketplace like this. So now you're gonna sell where people uh, shop. So whether it's on Google or Warmo, you're gonna sell where people search or get your brand on one of the largest retail platforms. Okay, okay, so things are starting to slowly make sense here. Okay, okay. Uh, so yeah all right okay uh yeah so that'll be all for this video take care bye, -bye.